Hey everyone, Cody here with PCB Eats and I'm with uh, TJ with Quorums on the Road. So TJ, tell us a little bit about uh, Quorums. T uh, Quorums? Well, Quorums on the Road, well, sorry. Cor well, Quorums, Quorums on the Road is a is a branch from Quorums Steak and Egg in Parker. There, okay. are, two, there are two primary Quorums names in Panama City. There's Uncle, there's, there's Uncle Charlie, which is Charlie Quorums Place, which right. is my wife's uncle. Okay. And then there's Quorums Steak and Egg, which was which was founded by my father-in-law, Willard Quorum. Okay. Um, Quorums on the Road is a division, if you will, of that. Margo and I wanted, wanted a food truck forever and ever and ever. We just always wanted a food truck. And uh, we came across an opportunity, and here it is. It replicates pretty much anything you would get at Quorums and Barker, Quorums Steak and Egg. Because it's a truck, we've got some, some, some limitations with room. But all the good stuff is on there. The burgers, the heavenly hash, all the breakfast stuff, all the, all the good good. It's all on there. Nice. Yeah. All, all right. right. Well, how long have you guys been on the road? We bought the truck in april i think and it, it worked out really neat because it, then came covid right and then it shut down the restaurants and then the restaurants well, what can we do what can you do well food truck works great for covid i'm eight feet off the ground it's 130 degrees in there you couldn't stick covid to me with a blow gun <laughs> it's i mean it just and you know it, you social distance by nature by design you order your food and you stand over there right so we got really popular really quickly that coupled with the brand that my father-in-law and my wife's uncle it started in the mid 80s it just really made there are a lot of hurdles i didn't have to jump as a food truck owner right. because i slapped quorums on the side of a food truck now there are some hurdles i have to jump because we're quorums that are regular truck but that's a whole different, different conversation <laughs> we've just been really blessed and we got really lucky and when we did this and the community has just been they've embraced quorums being able to come to them in a fashion like you can't understand i love it yeah love it's it. cool it's very cool so today we're sitting here next to foghorns yeah um, and you are a food truck but it's my understanding that you're going to be here next to foghorns more well here's the thing billy called me you know there's the whole the whole thing went in if if you're a bar you can't really be a bar unless you've got food. Right. So, Billy called me, and instead of, you know, there's so many people trying to work the system, you know, putting up a bag of chips and going, hey, we're selling food. So he said, listen, I've got a perfect location for you. What would you think about setting up here pretty much full time? Now, we still go out and do some private events. We've got right. a thing we do for the hospital. We've got some other things that are still on the books. But yeah, for the most part, a couple of things. They've, they've, they've asked for a presence. People have asked us forever and ever and ever to bring quorums back out to the beach. Yeah. Okay. So that, coupled with the ability to run deliveries from here, we're back out here on the beach. So it worked out. It, it, he's helping me. I'm helping him. Nice. I'm getting the brand back out here on the beach. He's able to run his bar like a bar. So, so it works out good for everybody. All right. Well, let's dive into the food a little bit. Okay. Tell me a little bit about y'all's food. Well, there's, you know, it, first off, the Heavenly Hash. The Heavenly Hash is on the truck. You can't say quorums to a local without saying Heavenly Hash. Um, Mr. Willie, who people that go to our Tyndall location, yeah. Mr. Willie's been there for a thousand years. That's where I learned, that's where I learned the magic. Nice. I didn't just invent it. I'm really good at what I do, but that's how I can make a, I can make a Heavenly Hash just like you taste in the restaurant. Nice. You come right here, it's exact to the point, and that's a Mr. Willie production. I just kind of watched over his shoulder and learned from the master. <laughs> um, so, of course, we've got that. We've got all the burgers. We've got all the breakfast stuff. A lot of times when, you know, you're at a bar, man, especially late night, if you're out running running Thomas Drive, man, there's nothing better than a good omelet oh, or yeah. some French toast or a heavenly hash or maybe just a big juicy burger. We've got all of that. Um, we also have on this menu something you won't get in the restaurant. It's, okay. my, it's my own recipe. And we call it a Texas Philly cheesesteak. Okay. Okay. You have my now, attention. Yeah. It took a Texas boy. I'm I'm from I'm from the Dallas Fort Worth area okay. originally. It took a Texas boy, I like to tell people, to make a Philly the right way. I do it on Texas toast with green pepper, onion, jalapeno. The meat is seasoned a certain way, and it's life changing. All right. It's life changing. Well, that's what I'm having. Yeah, today. that's what we'll make you one before you get out of here and you tell me what you think. I like um, that. It's it's really good. It honestly it sells it sells equal. It's it's a run between that and heavenly hash at the end of the day when we do our end of day. Texas Philly, Heavenly Hash, Heavenly Hash, Texas Philly, Dang. which is something to be really proud of when you consider that's something that the Corums brothers, that Heavenly Hash, they yeah. made that thing and it's a it's a brand of its own. Right. So that Texas Philly is stepping up and that makes me really happy. I'm really proud of that. I like that. Yeah. Well then, I guess I'll wrap up the interview with one final question. What's yeah. your favorite thing on the menu? Honestly, my favorite thing on the menu, and this is going to sound really lame, my favorite thing is a perfectly cooked order of hash browns just with the right amount of griddle oil just to get that right crispiness but with the softness inside and a little bit of ketchup there you it's have my it. favorite thing there my you have favorite it. thing on the menu i can have anything i want but when i just want a little snack 
just to perfectly cook. Everybody get out of my way. Nobody talk to me. Let me cook it perfect, and I'm a happy boy. I love it. All 290 pounds of me. Boom, get it done. <laughs> That's right. CJ, thank you so much. Man, I appreciate thank you. you. Yeah. Um, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Um, head over to, on Facebook and like uh, Worms on the Road's page. That way you stay updated on everything. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys.